welcome back to our channel. Um, so today I wanted to do a bit of a breakdown about cloth nappies. Um, there's so much information that I'm going to keep it pretty short and concise and split it into a couple of different videos depending on what part of cloth nappies you're looking for advice on. So, I've got a stash here with me to help. Um, and we can talk about what I like and why I like them. So yeah, I've, I've got some with me now. Um, I've got a selection with me now to try and try and show you sort of why people choose different brands for different things, why some don't work so good for one thing but are really good for others. Um, when I first started cloth napping, I was, you know, I decided I was just going to stick to one brand. Um, because to me, I was like, that's going to be way easier, just stick to one brand. So I was in this endless search for the perfect nappy. And I've got to be honest, there's some that do a pretty good job for most things. But I think most cloth bun mums would tell you that choosing more than one brand so that you've got an easier nappy for when you're out and about or you've got an easy one for night time, it's better at absorption. And then some that you just you reach for a bit more to have a selection is just so much better well i think it's so much better and also it's fun it means that you know you can go and it's quite exciting all these different brands and you've got so many options now so yeah have fun with it investigate so let's go through the types of nappies that i own and the brands and the types because you'll have heard pocket nappy, all in one nappy, two two in one nappy, um, there's fitted nappies with wrap so they've got an insert and then a wrap on the outside, there's terries, my mum always goes on about terries, <laughs> I've, I've never ever used terries or muslins so that's if you're looking for advice on those I can't help you there but I will go through what we do use and what I find really helpful. One of my favourite brands and probably the one that we own the most the most of is Bobber and Boo. Now these Bobber and Boo are both to party size but when I had Scout I actually ordered the newborn ones. Now you'll get a lot of questions about oh should I order the newborn size? Should I just do birth to potty? Because they're called birth to potty. Now I'm gonna be pretty honest with you. I think you do need the newborn size. So I don't use terriers or muslins or anything like that. They apparently fit a lot better from small baby size. Um, but in my experience, birth to potty size nappies are gigantic compared to newborn size. Even with Scout being £8.6, I feel like the newborn nappies fit her so much better. I'm gonna pop a I'm pop a photo up of the first cloth nappy she had on. It was a um a Bob and Boo Dawn Chorus and it fit beautifully. And I think we ordered ten when we started, uh, but we ended up ordering another ten and then getting a few extra a few extra second hand ones of the old prints as well. So we had quite a few Bob and Boo hanging around. Um, so yes, I will have put a photo on um, on Scout's first newborn nappy. We absolutely loved it. Um, beautiful fit. Their pocket nappies, Bobber and Boo, that goes for both the newborn and the birth to potty. Which means, what is a pocket nappy? A pocket nappy, simply, this is your outer bit. Yeah. And then here, there is a pocket. That's why it's a pocket nappy. Now, as far as the bits that are going to absorb, oh, as far as the bits that are going to absorb the wee, these are them. When you order a bobber and boo nappy, you get two bamboo inserts. These are bamboo. Okay, it's up to you if your kid wees a lot. You might need both. I use both all the time, just because I don't want to change a nappy every hour if I can help it. So you get your get your inserts, these are bamboo I hold them together at the top a little bit like that actually if you took one 
slightly over the top of the other one. It just helps as you're pushing them through into the pocket. Here we go. So you get your little pocket and then you push it in. And I just keep hold of the top that I showed you until you line it up at the top. Try and flatten it out at the top. You'll get less concerned about how perfect this is the longer that you do it. With the new bone one that used to drive me crazy. Anyway, and then once it's up to the top, and I've sort of roughly lined it up, hold the top, do this, stretch it out, and then feel to make sure that they've straightened out inside. give it a shake. Tuck your tag in. And there you go. That nappy is ready to use. Now with Bobber and Boo you will hear a lot in nappy will poppers or velcro. With Bobber and Boo the newborn nappies are velcro. It's very much it works just like a disposable. You know it pulls up and it fastens back down again. Um, the birth potty bubber and booze are poppers. Now, they just fasten like this. She says, try and do that on camera. Here's your bubber and boo. Beautiful birth to potty nappy. Now these, probably number one. I only say probably because we're very much the two brands of nappy, two kinds of nappy that we reach for the most. The Bobber and Boom and the Tots Box Easy Fit All in One. I'll show you this one next, okay? And then I'm going to discuss why they're both our favourites and the differences between both and why we can't just choose one or the other, okay? These, the Tots Box Easy Fit All in One. You see this? Okay, so this all just goes in the wash as one. You don't have to separate it. You do, when it comes out of the wash and you're ready, you stuff this back in. Now that's the main difference between an all in one and a pocket. Everything's attached on an all in one. The clues in the name. So you fold it down into itself. Like this. I don't normally make as much of a pig's ear as that. And then you've got this little bit that tucks over the top just to sort of neaten it up and make it comfortable. And then that's that's your nappy. Easy fit all in one. It is Velcro. So again, this is one of the ones that functions I would say most like a disposable. Um yeah. So these two brands. So that is a top spots, easy fit, all in one. Most like a disposable Bob and Boo Bit Potty. These are our two favourite brands, easily. Um, the reason being, the best all rounders. Now, the reason this is most reached for is because it's super easy. You saw how quickly I just put that together. It took me a bit longer with the bobber and boom. Now, we love these because, as I said, it smells like a disposable, which means if you're out and about and you need a quick change, these are your go-to ones. They're so simple, so easy. Just pop them on. Um, so yes, we like these because they're way easier when you're out and about. Easy to pop on, they're easy if your kid is trying to escape from you while you're changing their nappy. Happens a lot. The reason we reach for these also the most oh, the um, they fit beautifully. If you ever watch a, a fit video or a fit, you see the um, there's like a photo that goes around about how to get a really good fit on your cloth nappies um, about tucking Tuck in your um, this into the crease of the leg. Bobber and boost fit so nicely around the legs. They really do. 
um, that's another reason we like them. I also like them because they're great for everything. So they're great in the day, but they're also really good at night time. I feel like they keep everything in really nicely because um, they've got much they've got a much firmer fit around the leg than tot spots do. However, tot spots do sell night nappies, which are really good. So don't write tot spots off for night. Look into their nighttime nappies. I do have some, but we tend to use these ones. Um, so they're the two that I reach for most. I wanted to show, oh yes, I showed you the first is one earlier because it had the stain in, but I want to show you it because it's also one of our favourites, but we only actually own two because they're always sold out everywhere. They're all, excuse me, they're also not a budget nappy. First is quite expensive and um, yeah, they're not one of the cheaper nappies, but they are amazing. These are probably the easiest all in ones as far as there's nothing to tuck in anywhere. It's all attached. It's already attached. You literally fasten it up and go. Um, the poppers, like the Bob and Boo birth to potty. So you pop, you literally just pop this one and you go. It is so easy. Um, if I could afford more of these, I'd probably buy more of these ones. Yes, they are the first is natural all in ones. They're beautiful, the fit is fantastic on them. I do love them. Um, so, yes, the only downside to these is that they stain really easily, but they bleach out so also. So, this is a close popping nappy. We've only been using these for a short amount of time. They're fantastic. You get sort of the waterproof outer shell and then inside, and if you can see, there's little poppers here and at the other end as well. And basically you pop the inner parts into these poppers You have this one, which is the main bit, and then an extra absorbent layer there. So you pop the extra layer onto your main absorbent layer. That one's your soaker, and that one's your booster. So you pop those together first, and then it's quite easy because they have coloured poppers that match up in the nappy. So you know that these poppers, these yellow ones here, fit with the yellow ones inside of your shell. Sorry, the lighting's really bad here. Yellow to yellow. And you just pop it together and pop it together. And um, with the close pop in, some of the nappies are designed similarly. But what I liked about the close pop in that I didn't like about the other brand is they've got a lip here where you tuck it in which means it fits just like a proper nappy instead of i found with another brand that's quite similar when you go to move the nappy around the baby it just doesn't move properly and you don't get a good fit whereas the clothes popping is really good so then you do the same with the other end and um, with the white and gray poppers line them up a bit more of a faff than your all-in-ones and I find it a little bit more of a faff than the, the pockets as well but it is a fantastic nappy so then you fold you make sure it's tucked in both ends underneath the lip like that hey presto you are ready ready to go um and it's velcro fastening as I said earlier it's velcro fastening so it it fastens like a disposable, nice and simple. Um, I can do it for you. Yeah, fastens like a disposable. And one thing that I 
do love about the close poppins. I love, love the bright prints. I just think they're so bright and funky. They're just beautiful. I really like things, this sort of rainbow and bright and eye catching. So I, I do love them. They're a really good fit. I find they don't leak because they fit really well around the legs. Uh, when you're fitting this onto your baby, just like with the top spots all in one and with the bobber and boo really, you want to be tucking this into the leg crease, make sure it's nice and fitted and that there's none of the absorbent layer sticking out. And that's that. So you're going to hear about night nappies. Now most night nappies have a wrap which is, it's just a thin layer, thin plastic layer, thin waterproof layer. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, your nighttime nappies are a wrap generally and then a big thick absorbent insert. Now this one is actually fitted, so it's already in the shape of a nappy for you. This is the Little Lambs, size 2. Um, big fluffy bamboo nappy and that is, all of this is absorbent. Um, this one is Velcro. We did have the size 1 Little Lamb nappies for when she was smaller because we found at night we struggled with newborn nappies and their absorbency. So I'd heard about the little lambs and we found that for newborn um, and also sort of an in-between size, little lamb size ones were fantastic and we bought about 30 of them. <laughs> and because we started using them at night initially um, and then we were like, okay, they work amazingly we don't have any leaks, so we'll buy 30 of them. I've got to say, <laughs> I regret buying 30 of them, but they are fantastic nighttime nappies. They are so thick, look. So imagine you've just fit that on your baby. And then you take this and you wrap it over the top. Like this. I'm gonna try and do a better better instruction video for you about putting them all on um but yes that's your nighttime nappy big chunky inner fit and then a wrap over the top now there's plenty of brands that do this we own the little lamb size two at the minute and we own tot spots don't reach for the tot spots night nappies and i don't actually <laughs> use these ones either why am i showing it you then because they are fantastic night nappies if you are struggling with leaks and for that sort of that size where they're not quite big enough yet the little lambs <clears throat> were amazing for us between newborn and birth to potty size do stains happen yeah they do now certain brands stain less than others um personally I think Barbara and Boo, hands down, the best for getting poo off of. I've never had a stain on these. You could look up close, you could inspect my Barbara and Boo's to within an inch of your life, there's never been a stain on them because the, the poo, this is fleece, this, it literally just lifts off. So I've never had an issue. If you ever do have stains, which it happens, you know, <laughs> It frustrates me when people say, no, no, you know, stain is not a problem. I don't have an issue with staining. It must be a wash cycle. It must be this. No, you know, it, it's poo and teething poo in particular. Oh my God. So yes, stains, stains happen, but you wash them and then you put them out in the sun. The sun is amazing for getting stains out. Now it's not always sunny. We live in England. Um, so you do end up with stains and I'll show you one because and this is, this is honest vlogging, it's not the um, pretty I'm going to tell you it never happens vlogging. Um, these nappies, this one here, is a Thirsty's All-in-One Natural. 
one of my favourite brands, absolutely. But the poo does not come off as easy as with others because it's not fleece. Now, of course, you can add a fleece liner to any of your nappies and it's going to help get the poo off. But we do get stains. They happen. It's a clean nappy. If it was sunny and I put this out in the sun, this stain would be gone by bedtime. Just continue with the wash cycle. Put them out in the sun if you can. If not, just put them back on your kid. It doesn't harm them to have a stained nappy at the end of the day. It's an aesthetic thing and it doesn't happen very often. When it does, just, you know, if you can get it out in the sun, get it out in the sun, it'll bleach it away. If you can't, put it back on your kid. It's not dirty, it's just stained. And um, put it back in the wash and the might goes through the wash again. The stain goes anyway. I love having secondhand nappies. They, it means they come and they're already at top absorption level. You'll hear quite a few times that the more you wash them, the more absorbent they become. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I just, I wash them and I use them. But if you're buying second hand, you can assume that they're already super absorbent. Always check if you do order second hand when they come. If you've got, so if you've got a, this is a pocket nappy, bubble and boot pocket nappy, but if you see this bit here, this is the plastic underlayer. If this comes on a second hand one and there's ever any cracking, any cracks or anything on this layer, then you want to make sure you send them back to whoever sent them or get your money back because second hand nappies are great, great for the environment. I mean, cloth nappies are great for the environment anyway, but um, second hand cloth nappies, amazing. As far as choices go, um, eco-friendly options, second hand is great, but you do want to be checking the state of the plastic part that stops your nappies leaking, which is one of the biggest issues with second hand nappies, but I've never had an issue with it. So you just want to keep your eye out. I've heard horror stories, but I've ordered many second hand nappies. None of them had issues with the, the plastic. So yeah. Um, also, if you do go to order a second-hand nappy, before they post it out to you, you want to message them and you want to make sure they don't have any stinks or stains. Hi guys, so here I have my child ready and I've got some nappies to try and do you an example of how to fit these nappies onto your baby got an example of the bobber and boo because this has got the poppers so this is the birth potty bobber and boo all the poppers and I have the tot spots easy fit all in one which is velcro this is most like a disposable so we'll go for this one first so if you're organized you will have stuffed your nappy as I showed you earlier and it will look like this this is the back. You want to put this down under your baby like you would disposable. I find with reusables, the back is quite often a lot lower down on your baby than a disposable would be. These days, disposables seem to fit all the way up the back. With reusables, they don't. So once they're laid on top of the nappy like that, you want to make sure you kind of twist these edges around so that the white inner bit is not visible. And you want to tuck into the leg crease as much as you can so that you can't see the white in a bit. Tuck it around the leg crease and then just fasten it up as you would a disposable. As I said, try and keep this all really nicely fitted in the leg crease. No white in a bit showing. Um, if you can see the inner bits, that means the wee can get out. So you want to keep it nice and turned in all the way around. In the leg crease and then do the same on the other side. Give it a twist in as you pull it round like so. Now you don't need to do them up super tight around the waist. You can have a gap and you should have a gap 
that you can stick your fingers down do it with that hand like that it doesn't want to be so tight that there's no circulation um, so it doesn't matter if there's a gap here a gap at the back is a problem at the back it wants to be nice and comfortably fitted okay but here a gap is okay the most important fit is around the legs as I said you want to make sure it's turned in so you can't see any of the inside absorbable bit absorbent bits because that means the we can escape now this nappy looks quite perfectly fitted on this wolf but just for teaching purposes these poppers are here so that if you've got a smaller baby or a baby who's got narrower legs you can simply pull these up she says simply you can pull these up and fasten them and it just makes the leg holes a little bit better fitted to thinner baby legs she says I'm just, that was hard work so look these essentially and on the poppers these are the bits that mean it is birth to potty you can adjust this to make it fit a smaller baby by using these extra these extra poppers here that is your fit with the easy fit all in one look how well fit to this wolf baby that is right now wolf baby needs another nappy change and this time we are going for the bobber and boo pocket nappy with the poppers poppers instead of velcro as you can see there are a lot of poppers on a popper nappy seems a bit overwhelming when you first nap you know when you first cloth napping like oh my goodness what do they all do it's pretty simple these ones across here are for your normal fastening like this the extra ones are just like I showed you for the velcro fit in they're just to pull up if you need the legs to fasten a little bit smaller so again if you're organized you will have stuffed this already it will already have your inserts in there and then you get your baby and you pop it under their butt again and like I said the back will probably be a lot lower than if you're used to disposables pull your pull these bits out to the side and then again you want to be pulling this round so that you can't see any of the white bits now it's okay if you're struggling and you need to fasten it up before you then adjust the um, these so you want to pull it round and pull it round in the leg crease again you want it to be following around the leg crease because you are less likely to get leaks that way so it's pulled around fitted into the leg crease and up like that now these bobber and boo poppers I've got three poppers here it makes it quite easy to do it when you're fastening them up because do that one first that's a bit tight do that one first and then you can do your other two after you fasten the first one and then you do the same on the second you want to turn it so that none of the in inner absorbent bit is exposed and follow around the leg crease of your baby do that one very good <laughs> now I find poppers more fiddly than velcro I'm not gonna lie I'm sure most people do because it's just more more work isn't it but I also find poppers give a really good fit as well because you've got so much adjustability Um, now again you want to be checking around here that that's tucked under all around his leg crease tucked under and then if it's not do it tuck it in and again this is quite a nice fit for mr wolf but i am going to show you just pulling up the fittings in case you've got a thinner baby a thinner legged baby or a teeny tiny baby there you go and that is how you fasten a popper 
Now one that I'm going to show you on top of these, even though it's also Velcro, which you might assume means I don't need to show you, um, is the Little Lambs. Now, most people use these for nighttime nappies. I have gone through a phase of using the size ones, as I said, throughout the daytime, and they are amazing. They are so absorbent, um, but we don't we don't tend to use them anymore. But it's worth showing you. Okay. These are two part nappies. You have your wrap, which is there, and you have the inner part. Now the way that I do this, because I used to try and do it all together, and I used to be faffing around with pieces of fabric and it was frustrating. The inner part of the little lamb size two, now this is only with the size two, the size ones come with separate bits here. This one is all fastened together. Look. Okay, so this is the in, inner part, and this is made out of bamboo. You took this, well, this is how I did it. Took this part under your baby. Um, little lambs, actually, if I can find it, I've had it somewhere. Little lambs come with a fleece liner. So, you want to put this down. On top, this just protects it from um, poo stains and gives you that extra layer of protection between your baby and the wet nappy. Anyway, put your baby onto that, into the bamboo bit, and fasten it up like you would any other nappy because it fits very much like a disposable. This part, pull it up, stick it on, and don't worry too much about the fit as long as the baby's comfortable because this part's the absorbent part, this part is not the part that's going to keep the water in. So that's your inner layer on for the little lambs, nighttime nappies. This is very much, this very much applies to Tots Bots nighttime nappies, which I think are called bamboozles, but don't quote me right now. And I think there's a few other brands that do nappies like this. And yes, so we've got the inner part on, the bamboo inner part. And then we've got the wrap, which is the plastic, the waterproof layer for the outside. I just then lift the baby back up again onto the waterproof layer. Now these look one size and then you pull them and they go gigantic. This is the one you want to be careful about the fit of. You want to make sure it's tucked into your leg crease again and you want to make sure it's covering up all of the white inner part. Yep, so you want to be checking around here, make sure that all this, again, is tucked into the leg crease as much as possible and is covering the bamboo inner part of the nappy. Same with the other side. It needs to be covering your insert, basically. Now, as you may be able to see, this nappy is gigantic. That is because it's a super absorbent nighttime nappy but they absorb so much that you aren't going to complain once about the size of it when you see how much it absorbs and how long you get between change. Now the last thing I want to pop in really quickly is reusable wipes. Can't cloth nappy without using reusable wipes. I mean you can, but then I just feel like it's extra work. You're gonna think it's extra work because the disposable nappy, when you use disposable wipes, you wipe it into the nappy, roll the nappy up, bin it. With reusable nappies, it's similarly easy if you use reusables, you wipe, you leave it in the dirty nappy, tuck it away, put it in the nappy bin. So yes, we use these for everything. We wash them with the nappies, wash them on a hot wash, use them for everything. Um, when we first bought them, we bought, these are cheeky wipes, we bought them with the cheeky wipes boxes. We had two boxes that we used. We didn't have a clean box and a dirty box. We just had two boxes so that we got one at either end of the house. But actually now we don't use the box with water in. We just have them, they're clean. And then when we use them, we wet them under the tap and use them, dispose of them in the washing basket or the nappy bucket. Um, 
we don't use the oil that we used to from Cheeky Works, although it is beautiful and I did use it, I just don't at the minute, it's easier not to. Um, out and about, that's a whole other section I've got to tell you about. When you take reusable wipes out, you take a wet bag, just dampen them a little bit, squeeze them out so they're not absolutely drenched, put them in a wet bag, sorted. So easy. The dirty ones, you want to keep a wet bag anyway. Your dirty nappies and your dirty wipes. Once they're dirty, chuck them in your wet bag, chuck them in your changing bag. It's, it's super easy, honestly. Don't overthink it. So much easier than you think. When you're dealing with dirty baby clothes anyway, because they always poo explode out of disposables. Um, you used to do dealing with dirty clothes with nappies, clothes changers, adding cloth nappies and reusable wipes is it's not difficult. Reusable wipes are fantastic for everything. They wipe twenty times better than a disposable wipe. You can get a few wipes out of one wipe. Um can use them as face wipes, they're so good. I use the cotton ones um, and the rough texture. It's just really good for getting makeup off and we use them for the big kids and the little kids, babies, wiping the sides, I don't know, we use them for everything. They have become the go-to, so yeah. So guys, I'm gonna pop up a wash and dry routine probably next week. I need to wait for a sunny day really so that I can show you the effects of using the sun to bleach out your stains. I wouldn't really want to put up a wash and dry routine video without that because that is one of the most amazing helpful parts of the wash and dry routine. So thanks for sticking with me. I hope this video has been useful. Um, if you've got any other questions about cloth nappy in stick them in the comments under the video or if you follow us on Instagram feel free to DM me um, and my inbox is always open.